Welcome to my smart side. Today, in this video, I will be talking about sorting algorithms. And this is on the subject of computers. Sometimes you have a list of values that you need to be sorted. So if you have the, like, a, like for example, when the number is 1 to 10, you want to put them in order. And there are a number of algorithms that computers, oh. I did not have enough of these things, or these things, to uh, to put on the these things to represent one to ten or zero to nine. I have enough of these things. Okay, there are many algorithms, different ways that a computer can sort elements in an array. Different ways of, uh, let's see, that's the smallest one, putting that first, followed by that, then, uh, going with three, that, and then, etc. Let's mix these up, and first I'm going to show you bubble sort. Here's what bubble sort does. It first compares the first two, and whichever one's bigger, it puts it on the right. And then it compares it, this one, with the next one. Okay, this one's bigger. And then it just keeps on. It's kind of like a bubble was rising to the top in a liquid. And eventually, you have the you come to the biggest one, and it will be moved to the far right. So no, we do not need to compare that anymore. Okay, we restart from the beginning. Okay, this one's the second biggest. Okay. Ah, oh, compared it with this one wrong. So then it should be like that. Well, well, you understand. When I compared earlier, when I compared that with this one, I moved this one ahead. When This one was bigger. So that's how bubble sort works. The next sort is comb sort. Uh, okay, not low battery. Come sort takes the first one and compares it with the the third from the far end and swaps them if they, if it needs to and then it moves here these don't need to be swapped in here they're swapped. Next, it uh, uh, compares the first one with uh, this one here, which is like a, about a, a third in from the right. And then it moves 
And then it keeps on to the end. And then about a, another third in here. And compare these two. And then compare these. And these. these. And then swap here. And then swap. And then every one here. I'm gonna research this again. I couldn't figure it out. And the battery is low in this thing now. So next time, which uh, in the video you're watching right now, the next video clip will have comb sort, which will be made on a, a different day. I think I figured it out. Okay, we'll start comparing these two. Um, okay, and then these two, and then these two. Okay. Okay, compare these two here. Okay, now we switch. We're sorting with a common factor, and this one, I think 1.3, that's the recommended result. So the bubble sort each time the gap is is a 1, but now we're at like about 1.3, and then out of what's left, 1.3 again, and it gets smaller. Now, uh, now this one is like regular bubble sort. I guess do it again. Until they're all sorted. Okay, they're all sorted.
Well, that's comb sort. Gravity sort, also called bead sort or abacus sort, it uh, has Yeah, uh, let's get the, at it this way. Lines them up this way. It's like the beads of an abacus. Okay, imagine it's like, um, they're all lined up. But, and it's like uh, a line, go like that, through the ones all the way over here, and then the, the second ones goes like that, and then gravity pulls them this way. So the one that it's on the far right, it's only one, this bead falls to the very bottom, and then the and then all the ones on the second, they fall. It's kind of like that. So, okay, the one on the far right is by itself and it fell. And then the second from here will fall on top of this, and then it's the same thing. That one will fall here, and then it's the the same thing. And they're sorted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's in that? Shell sort is next. Here is shell sort. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the random order again. It is similar to insertion sort, which I will show you after this one. Insertion sort always compares adjacent elements, but shell sort starts by comparing this one and then about halfway through. Okay, this is this one. Okay, which one's smaller? This one. Okay, that moves over there. And then we're at the left end. Okay, so then we move over. And that one's smaller, go over here. And then we move over again. That one's smaller. That one, that's smaller. And this one, also smaller. Okay, now... Uh, Okay, well now we move to a quarter. Okay. 
Uh, okay. This seems somewhat to come sort. I couldn't figure out the difference, but then I, I, I finally figured it out. Comb sort just checks each one once it goes through and then it gets smaller, but uh, the shell sort if it swaps one, it compare it with the smaller one with the with the same distance on the left. Okay. Okay, now I move this over here and then compare it to that one. Okay. Now compare these two. And these and these. Now we can compare uh, uh, the consecutive ones. That this one, this run through is like regular insertion sort. Okay, that's sorted. Insertion sort doesn't start halfway, it just continues that. I didn't think the battery would be low ready, but we bought it checked anyway and it isn't low. That's good. Um, like insertion sort. Uh, you could put take the far left one and put it in a, a new array, and then you take the far left of here, and then you compare it, and then here you compare all of them. Or you could just keep it in the same array here, just move to the far left. Okay, out of here, this one's sorted. Well, if there's only one, it'll always be sorted. So now we bring this in here, that's smaller, so it goes here. Now we bring this one, compare it, so that, okay, that goes here. And then we bring this one, smaller than that, smaller than that, smaller than that. So we're taking the next one and we're inserting it here, where it needs to be. Shell sort is called shell sort because that's the last name of the guy who uh, came up with it. Okay. Based on internal memory. Okay, I moved the clips I already had onto the computer and then deleted them from the bloggy. So the clips are not on that device. They're on the computer. Cocktail shaker sort. There is a problem with bubble sort. There are rabbits and turtles. 
Rabbits are big values on the small end, and they move quickly to the right. And, uh, and uh, turtles, there are small values over here, and they slowly be, or they're, they're slowly moving to the left. Cocktail sugar sort fixes the problem by going back and forth. And also, um, comb sort is another way to fix the problem. Instead of uh, comparing and swipe them here, it's like bigger. So then smaller values over here can quickly be over here. Okay. Cocktail sugar sort, also known as just cocktail sort. Or bi-directional bubble sort, or two-way bubble sort. Okay. Okay, it's bigger in this swap. Okay, swap. Stay. Swap. Stay. Swap. Swap. Swap and swap. And now it starts from this end. Swap. And then like moving the smallest to the far left. And now we move to the right again, moving the bigger to the right. And now moving smaller to the left. Bigger to the right. Can you hear the bird clock in the background? Stop the machine things. But what you get the idea. Now I'll just start from here. Uh, well, okay, we are sorted. Merge sort. It splits this in half. Five, okay. And it takes the leftmost unsorted sub list, splits it roughly in half. And then same thing. Okay, now it takes. Okay, these two are only one. Which one's smaller? It takes the smallest out of the smallest in each list, so let's see. That's the smallest in here and the smaller than the here, which is the smallest in here. So then that goes up there, and then this goes here. Okay, split that. Split that. That's smaller, and that one, and this goes here. Okay, this one, okay. That's the smallest here. And this is smaller than that, so that goes up there. Okay. Now that's the smallest here, and that's the smallest here. So that's smaller, so that goes up there, and this goes here. Okay, now the smallest here compared to the smallest here. Okay, that's smaller. Okay.
So it separates them and merges them together in order. Did this one come from over here or over here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, this one's the smallest out of oh, these are around the sword. Okay. Alright, it's sorted now. I don't know if this is out of frame or not. And let me see. <laughs> uh, okay, no, 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 not out of frame. Not even close. Okay. Well, you can see that they're all sorted. Uh, I forget what gnome is. Hmm. How stupid of me to forget what gnome sort is. If I remember correctly, I think gnome sort is also called stupid sort. You stupid gnome I not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's 9 plus 10. I don't know, that's not the area of math that I'm doing here. Uh, no sort. Are these two? No. They need to be swapped. Okay, let's move on. Are these two? No, they need to be ordered. Okay, now. Are these two? No, they need to be swapped. Okay. Okay, do these need to be swapped? Yep. Yeah. These sorted and um, wait. Yeah, they're sorted. Okay. Now you can see these two, they're already sorted and they're in order, but so watch yeah. This one. Just one at a time. Is Okay, they're sorted. Okay. I, I guess I'm numb with no. Okay, that's not a quick sort. Okay. Have to batter your storage. Uh, okay, I need to do this one quick. <laughs> or quickly. Or quick describing myself, or quickly describing how to. Um, one out of four. Okay. Uh, I think I'll be fine. Okay, we could pick a random one of these. Or the one in the middle, or any random one. But, I, but I'm just going to. Just pick the one on the far right. Any one of these could work. This is the pivot. Okay, we'll set that here. And then all of these, if it's less than the pivot, it goes on the left. 
But if it's greater than the pivot, it goes on the right. Okay, and the pivot is sorted. And then each subgroup, we do the same thing. Uh, there's only one here, so it's already sorted, so we put that up here. And then we do the same thing here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to move this one. This, okay, that's the pivot. That's bigger. That's also bigger. Pivot. Bigger. Hmm. So that will stay where it is. Okay, I got that. I got this. Selection sort. Uh, okay, kind of low on battery. Okay, it just uh, goes through, finds it's the uh, smallest, it, it selects that one to move it to the far left. Or it selects the greatest and puts it on the far right. Well, that's kind of like the bubbles. Well, selection sort doesn't rearrange. It doesn't swap anything until it found the smallest so far. Thank you. 
that's all the sorts. Okay, next in this video, you can see that it's not over. <laughs> uh, I am going to maybe or maybe not use those again. But I'm just going to run through each sorting algorithm without me explaining. Just run them through different scenarios. So just a random order. Would it be the same random order? But I have here five, seven, three, four, one, eight, two, nine, ten, six. And then after that I'll do what it looks like if they're reversed. If it was if they were like a line that way instead of that way. And then uh, maybe first and last switched. And then you can see how the algorithm would switch those two. Well, prob well probably switch other things. And, um, or maybe just the last two switch. Okay. Let's. No, well, actually, you can see the. The letters there I have B for bubble, C for comb, G for gravity, H for shell because I have S for selection. And then the second letter of shell is H. Okay, I for insertion, K for cocktail shaker because it has a K in it. And I already have a C for comb, M for merge, N for gnome, which starts with a G, but it sounds, well, it's silent. I already have G for gravity, and that, that G is pronounced. Okay, Q for quick, S for selection. Uh, okay, let's go. And now the worst. Hey, can you, uh, keep it down. Trying to record. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get out of here. I just interrupted Pack Valham. Maybe I should have stayed in here. Okay, Bogo sort. Okay, let's see. Are these sorted? No. Okay, are they sorted now? No, they're still not sorted. <laughs> are they sorted now? No. In a nutshell, bogo sort checks if they're sorted. Maybe it just looks at the first two, and if uh, the greater one's on the right, then it'll move on to the next pair. But if, if it checks, it checks. It doesn't go all the way through, but it checks one in, it checks a pair. Let's look here. Okay. Okay, they are in order. That's greater than that. But if it checks to, I don't know, the big one's on the left. So this list is not in order. It shuffles the list. Okay. Shuffle. Is it in order? No. Shuffle again. Is it in order this time? No. 
Never use BOGO sort if you want to sort a list. There is a very, very high probability that, it will, that the list, even as few as 10, will not be sorted. If you are smart, uh, I made that same mistake before. I probably cut it out. If you learned something, click the like button. If you didn't, feel free to click the dislike button and maybe I will try to explain it better in another video. But if you want to learn more things, click the subscribe button and you will learn more from me next time. Unless you watch one of my pac videos, maybe perhaps, if you haven't already, the one he's working on. Okay.